starting here at hole 1. There is no Mando on hole 1. There will be a wavy arm tube guy. Hole 2. You do not take the normal route up the middle. You have to go wide to the right. Over there, up the hill. A nice big right hand uh, hyzer line. There is a plateau and an opening up here. And from there, you can do your approach to the basket through the trees. Hole three, we're going to have a shipping pallet with a couple planks removed. This will create a quad mando that you have to throw through. We're using the short tee pad going to the short winter basket location. Hole four, short T, up the middle, and there is a mando left on the sort of the center tree. Obviously, you have to stay left of that. This has theoretically uh, an ace line, but uh, good luck. Odds are more likely that you'll end up in the uh, schnarb on the left side. Hole five, there is a mando left of the main tree in the middle of the fairway. Probably a right hand forehand or a big height uh, Anheuser. Hole six. We have a mando right of the little clump of trees in the middle of the fairway. You can't take the normal route, um, probably a backhand hyzer sort of around this corner towards the basket. Hole seven, the existing Mando on the right-hand side protecting the road is still in play. The Mando on this hole is basically the last tree on the right, and it is a Mando right. So you pretty much have to go basket high or slightly past the basket and then do a hard dog leg left to get to the basket. Hole 8 is our only sponsored hole of the event. This is sponsored by Jangle Aqua, Jangles and Bevel Aqua. Um, really appreciate their sponsorship here. Here, of course, a triple Mando. You have to go up and through the Y. But once you get past that, it's pretty much clear we didn't add any additional Mandos all the way to the basket. unlike hole nine, where we have uh, multiple Mandos. So off the tee, we're forcing you to take the left-hand uh, fairway line. So you have to stay left of this first big main tree. This Mando sign was sort of folded in half, I think, from the wind. So just be sure you're going to the left of it. You'll keep going down the left side and you stay left basically until you are into the opening. However, for the approach, we have added a third Mando here. You have to be right of the big main tree in front of the basket.
Cool 10 is dealer's choice. We have two different Mandos. You can pick one of them to throw from. There's Mando left on the left side. And then far right, very far right, there's Mando right. So if you're a forehand thrower, this should be easy or a big hyzer. Hole 11 is a throw low Mando. You have to go below the caution tape. Roller, skip, whatever, go uh, underneath that, uh, that caution tape. Hole 12 is a double Mando. As you'll see here, you have to go right up the middle. We've got the first tree is a Mando left, and the second tree is a Mando right. But once you get through that, you can go any route through these trees that, uh, that you'd like. Hole 13. We're starting off with, um, this is a long hole. We've got two Mandos on this one. Uh, the first center main tree, you have to stay right of it. So Mando right on the first main tree. And then beyond that, it is Mando left. Uh, so you have to take the left-hand side um, around that, uh, that tree there. And uh, that will be your approach line to the basket through a fairly uh, thick uh, grouping of trees. Any line on this hole has a, a thick grouping of trees. Hole 14. We have two mandos on this hole. First is in the middle. Um, the big tree in the middle, we have a Mando right. I'll see it coming up here. So you have to stay, you have to make your way over to the right side, sort of side fairway. However, from there, you have to get back left. So you have to stay left of this tree on your approach to the basket. Hole 15 is totally different. We are putting a practice basket net in the edge of the tee pad. You must go over the top of it. But you are playing to a new basket at the bottom of the hill. Um, it will be visible from the tee pad, no problem. But you have to go up to get down. Hole 16 will be played from the drop zone of regular hole 14. This is up on the, the plateau that you would normally be shooting for. Um, from the, the top of the hill. We have a Mando right of the little, um, the biggest little uh, tree. So you have to go over what is typically out of bounds, but we are not playing it as out of bounds for this tournament. Play it where it lies. Hole 17. We are taking the lake completely out of play. So you have to play left of, there's a left Mando of that last tree, which you can see here. So you have to go to the, the landing zone is over here on the flats, and then you can do your approach up to the basket. Hole 18, very straightforward. There really is only uh, one tree on this on this hole that ever really comes into play. 
it is the one big main tree in front of the basket. And so we are doing a mando to the uh, right of that tree. Hole 19, you're going up the right side fairway, insofar as it is a fairway at all. So, right of the first set of trees. Now you can you can fade a little bit and land in the middle of the fairway if you you know if you get back through those trees. But you can't really go over that way for far, very far because we have a second mando right uh, towards the end of the line of trees. So you have to get back right if you had already faded left. But from there, you have to get left. So we've placed a mando left of this tree. But once you get past that, you have a fairly clear shot to the basket. There's This hole has a uh, normal mando early on. It's in play. Hole 20 is being played from the purple tee pads, which is down below in the valley, not from the top of the ridge. So you can see we're going to put a throwing net at the edge of this tee pad, but you can throw any way around it you want. You do not have to go over the top. 